Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will share a direct comparison between the Line 6 HX Stomp and the Headrush Jig Board. This video follows the other video comparisons of amp modeling pedal boards that I did, like for instance about the G250 versus the HX Stomp or the G250 versus the Headrush. You can find in the description below the links to that comparison videos in the case you want to watch them. Furthermore, if you have already seen these videos, you can skip this section and jump at the comparison chart at this time here. Actually, I hope that this video could be useful for guitarists who maybe want to buy an unmodeling and multi-effects pedal board in the 450, 550 euro or dollars price range and are unsure which one to buy. Let me say that both uh, these pedal boards are good options, but maybe one of them has that extra feature that better suits your needs. And by the way, at the end of this video, as usually, I will try also to give you my opinion about which one I would get if I had to choose. So the arguments we will discuss together are In the demo song we have already heard the two units in action, then with the help of a comparison chart that I've done, we will discuss the technical differences between the two pedal boards in terms, of, for instance, of in, out, sampling frequency and so on and so forth. So I mean all that technical stuff where maybe there is that extra feature hidden that is indispensable for you. Then we will better listen to the sound differences that you may have already heard in the demo song. You know, it would be impossible to check all the amp models one against the other. So I prefer to choose just some specific options and combination of amps, caps and effects to verify if there are some specific differences that could address our evaluation. I went for a Fender Deluxe Reverb for the clean sounds and a Marshall JCM 800 for the overdriven ones, using or disabling some effects but always trying to use the same setting for both the units. I mean, same equalization, same type of cab, etc. Finally, I will give you my two cents. So, a lot of interesting stuff that I cannot wait to share with you. Let's start! We will now check the differences between the two units among the following parameters. Number of amps, cabs and microphones built in, number of bank patches and preset, number of effects, MIDI possibility, audio input and outputs, number of foot switches and expression pedal, screen size and type, looper capabilities, ADA conversion and USB channels, possibility to use third-party IRs and characteristics, special features available with the two units, current power, dimension and weight, and finally price. First of all, we have 74 amps, 37 cabs and 16 mix built-in in the HX Stomp, while the jig board offers 41 amps and 16 cabs and 10 mix. The HX has also more parameters to set like the mic distance while the jig board has a very little set of parameters to set as regards the cab micing. Therefore I would give a thumb up to the HX stomp. Furthermore the HX has 42 banks each of 3 patches with a total amount of 126 patches. The jig board on the other hand has 2071 preset. Therefore I would give a thumb up to the jig board. As regards effect the HX Stomp has 200 effects distributed in up to 6 blocks according to the DSP power while the jig board has 48 effects in 11 blocks. Therefore I would say that they are on pair as the HX offer more effects while the jig board while with the jig board you can use more effects at the same time. As regards MIDI they are on pair as they both offers a MIDI in and MIDI out port. As regards input and output the HX Stomp has a stereo in, a stereo effect loop, a stereo unbalanced output and the headphone out. The jig board on the other hand has a mono in, a mono effect loop, an aux in, an headphone out and an amp controller output. I would give a thumb up to the HX stomp because for me the stereo FX loop is pretty important and using it I can use my favorite delay effects. For instance like the Strymon Volante. The 
HX Stomp has three foot switches while the Jigboard has four foot switches. Both have an expression pedal input, therefore the Jigboard is better. The screen of the Jigboard is far superior than the one of the HX, in fact it is bigger and it is touch sensitive. Actually, this screen is one of the best thing of the Jigboard. The HX offers a 30 seconds stereo looper while the Jigboard has a 20 minutes looper. So I would say that the Jigboard is better. Here you can see the loop foot switches controller functions. Clearly, the Jigboard having another foot switch offers better controls over the looper than the one offered by the HX. As regard ADA conversion and USB capabilities, I would say that the HX is better as it offers higher frequency rates and more USB port. They both offer the possibility to load third-party IRs, but the head rush has more slots to load them and can load better quality IRs at 32 bits and 192 kHz. So I would say that the Jigboard is better. As regards special features, I would mention the capacitive full switches of the HX and for both the unit the possibility to load two amps in the signal chain. Well here I would say that they are on pair as neither of them offer a breakthrough special feature like for instance the tone capture of the GE250. Then we have the power needs where the HX needs 9V at 3000 mA while the head rush needs 3420 mA at 19V. So I would give a thumb down to both of them as it is difficult to use our normal pedal power adapters. As regards the weight and dimension, the HX stomp is smaller and lighter and finally the price is cheaper in Europe for the HX. So finally let's count the greens and red thumbs. We have 8 green thumbs with 6 reds for the HX and 8 greens for the head rush with 6 reds. So they are on pair. Here the main differences in my opinion are the cab micing options of the HX Tom that are more compared to the one of the Jigboard. For instance, you can control the mic distance. Then I would mention the stereo loop offered by the HX and the looper functionalities that are better in the Jigboard. Also, obviously the touch screen is a better option offered by the Jigboard. Now final considerations here. This is gonna be my personal opinion for my specific use cases and of course you may not agree with me and this is totally fine. Well, here let me clarify what are the distinctive factors of the two units in my opinion. The Jigboard has a better looper, four foot switches instead of three and a far superior touch screen which makes the unit also easier to use in comparison with the HX Stomp. 
On the other hand, the HX Stomp has more controls as regards the cab miking, the stereo effect loop and it is smaller and lighter. And well, to me, the distinctive factors of the HX are more important of the ones of the Jigboard. So, if I had to choose, actually, I will get the Line 6 HX Stomp. Don't get me wrong, the Jigboard is a pretty solid option, but the HX Stomp just better suits my needs. This is obviously totally subjective, and I really would like to know your opinions and which one of the two units you would choose in your use case, and also if the sound differences that you can check out in the demo song or in the more sound section of this video are key deciding factors for you. So let me know in the comment below. These were my final two cents, we have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave the thumbs up. It would be of a great time. If you are interested in my music, you can check out a playlist of songs of mine in the description below, where there is also a link to the streaming services distributor that I use, that is DistroKit. If you use that link, you will get a discount and I would actually gain some money. So, you're gonna actually help the channel. So, this is the end. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.